Hello, welcome to the first lecture of Overview of Calculus. This lecture is going to cover limits and continuity. Uh, brief introduction. So, limits. And continuity. And first we're going to be discussing limit notation and then we're going to work through some examples and we'll talk about some discontinuities. So the first notation you should be aware of is this notation, this lim, which basically means take the limit of. And then you have your variable written down here. It doesn't need to be x, but standard convention says x. And then you have what x is approaching. Now, x can approach another variable, it can also approach constants, and it can approach um, infinity and other concepts of that nature. So, we'll just say that it approaches c for c equal constant. Okay, basically what you're doing is you'll be taking an f of x you'll have it equal to f of c. Okay? And let's work through an example. So let's say we have the limit of x approaches 8, x plus x squared. And this is basically our f of x. You can see the analogy here. And this is going to be equal to 8 plus 8 squared. And that's going to be equal to 8 plus 64, or 72. Now, um, basically what it looks like I did is I just plugged in this 8 to our function. And that's, that is exactly what I did. Now, there's a lot more going on there than just that. Um, the idea of limits is what you do, and basically it was invented to deal with um, what happens to functions as they approach either zero or infinity or something ridiculous. So a perfect example would be the limit as x approaches 2, 1 over x minus 2. Now what's this limit going to be? Well, it's x over 2 minus 2, which is equal to 1 over 0, which uh, we can't do and does not exist if we just had a function of this form. So if we had like f of x equal 1 over x minus 2, and we had x equal 2, you know, then this function does not exist. So does not exist at x equals 2 by this work up here, okay? But in the limit, this does exist, and it actually equals infinity. And that's, that is the beauty of limits. They allow you, and this was the original concept that we used limits for. It was to denote what happens when you have a failure of a function um, giving you either an infinity or something you wouldn't expect. Okay, so basically it deal, this is to deal with jumps. All right, so um, now that I've shown you an example, I'm going to write down the notation on top again, or I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to review to it. So basically, the 8 is equivalent to the C, f of x is equivalent to that, this is that, and then it's just equal to, you know, it works out to some number. All right, and I'm going to do a second example now uh, of a similar form, just to make sure the idea is there. And then we'll work through some discontinuities and other things of that nature. So let's take 10x plus x cubed. It's going to be equal to 10 plus, um, well, it's 1,000 times 10. So we just add another 0. So we get one, two. All right, so we get that number. So it's going to be 10,000, 10. Okay? 
and I think it's pretty obvious how I did that. Um, if you have any questions about it, feel free to comment and ask. Alright, so now we're going to talk about discontinuities, failure of limits to approach a number, uh, things of that nature. So this will be labeled failure. And we're going to underline it. All right. So failure can happen. If you have a break, um, so let's say this is three, this is one, and this happens at x equals two. So basically, the limit as x approaches two from the right hand side is not equal to the limit as x approaches two from the left hand side. And I'll denote that by right hand side and not equal left hand side. So this is a graphical representation of a discontinuity and you can also view it um, numerically basically just through a function. So usually how these are denoted is through step functions. So y And so this is will be for the range. And this is the range. So uh, zero less than or equal to x, less than two, and then less than or equal to x to infinity as x approaches infinity. Alright, so that should be clear. And then um, well you would just plug and chug to see what happens. So it's very clear that y is going to equal 2 for this whole range. Okay. And then we don't really care what's happening above or to the left of this piecewise over there. And then, you know, just, just take 2. Just plug in at the where the, where the, the change in the, the, the function is. 2 plus 2 squared is equal to 6. Because this is 4 and this is 2. 2 plus 4 is 6. So basically what's happening here is right hand side is not equal to left hand side. And it's actually, uh, you can actually use this notation right here to view this problem as well. Even though it won't be the same function, it'll be different from here. So graphically what this is going to look like is this. This is going to be 6. This is going to be 2. Okay, so this concludes my first video on um, limits and continuity. Um, I'll briefly scroll up, so in case you need to write anything down or you just want to view anything again. Okay. Thanks.